Greens and welcome to the first episode of This Craft Kit Gives Me Mixed Feelings. Today we're going to be looking at a craft kit that is from Japan, apparently a power tool for girls. I absolutely love craft kits and DIY kits from Japan, but this one really stood out to me because it was offering a power tool for girls. And not just that, but it has pink and glitter and purples and pastel colors and it looks absolutely adorable. Even the girl looks like she's having so much fun. The reason this kit gives me mixed feelings is because I personally don't believe in gender roles. When I was a little grain, I loved playing with Ninja Turtles, I loved playing video games, I wanted the same haircut as my brother, and so naturally when anyone said that I had to love pink and absolutely be playing with dolls, I said, Meh. I already knew, as a little grain, that that did not feel right, because it didn't make me happy. So I believe anyone should be able to do any activity, love anyone they want, and be who they are as long as they are happy. Oh, and by the way, if cute isn't your thing, because you're like me and you love creatures of darkness. <laughs> Then lucky for you, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. For those of you who don't know, Raid is an epic fantasy RPG that takes place in the world of Teleria, where prophecies, curses, and betrayals happen among the 16 awesome factions that range everything from orcs to high elves to lizard people. Lizard. Be sure to check my link in description box below because Raid is available both on your PC and mobile. One of my favorite factions is that of lizard men, mostly because of their aesthetics. As an artist, I absolutely admire the work that went into designing them to look so different from each other. Not just that, but the one I'm really hoping for, look at this little one, is called Draco Morph. In addition to its gorgeous design, it has everything from debuffing skills to poison skills, so I'm hoping for that one. In addition to gorgeous looking characters, and of course, I mean like monstrous type looking. Of course, you can battle so many different types of creatures and bosses. One of my favorite parts of the gameplay is building my team, leveling them up, and even equipping them and sacrificing other champions to level mine up. It's also awesome how they keep adding new updates and special events to the game. Like right now, you can have champion fragments which allow you to summon a specific champion, kind of like how I want Dracomore. Also they have a bazaar where you can collect gold bars and they even extended the daily login rewards up to 270 days. That's quite a bit. So what are you waiting for? Yes, my sword's back. Go to the video description box below and click on the special link. And as a new player, you'll get 200,000 silver and one free really awesome champion, Grinner. All the gifts will be waiting for you right here in that little box for the next 30 days. Thank you, Rig, for sponsoring this video. Let me put this sword down very gently. And now back to cute stuff. So the reason I'm a little confused is because do I think girls should also use power tools? Heck yeah. Do I think it needs to be pastel colors? No. But, 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 we have to look at the context that this craft kit is made in. For those of you who don't know, I absolutely love Japan, but they do have very strict and old school gender roles that are starting to be pretty much challenged. So for this craft kit to exist in Japan, a power tool for girls is definitely a good step, or at least a, a nice step in the right direction. I would have loved if they offered it in different colors, not just pastel colors, but maybe Colors of Darkness for children like me. I'm like a dominant, that's what I'm doing. So even though the drill specifically says girls DIY, in reality, this kit should just be for anyone and everyone. So even though I feel like this is a good step in the right direction, unlike um, Bic, my friend reminded me that they had a pen for girls, which was more expensive than normal pens for some reason. Remember that atrocity? Yeah, good job, Bic. That was definitely not necessary. Let me know in the comment section below whether you see a difference between these two products. I mean, this is a pen for girls that looks pretty much just pastel colors and triple the price. I don't remember the exact pricing, but let's just say that much. Or a product that is empowering girls to use power tools. I don't know, I, I, I see a clear difference, but maybe that's my opinion. Let me know down below. All right, enough delaying. Let's see what we get inside. Here's your 
here's what we get inside. Two packs of square blocks in gray and pink. Two packs of screws, in which one of them is a star head. Different kinds of joints, more joints. And then we get bits and tidbits. And now for the girly part. We get a huge sheet of pastel stickers that have everything from letters to just rainbows and pastel stars and two sheets of felt decorations. Everything from the bunny ears to unicorns and flowers and ribbons. We also get a guide of how to build these really cool pieces and troubleshooting sheet. For those of you wondering, this did cost me $33. Now for some of you who might say, but Jackie, that's pretty pricey. The answer is, it depends what you're comparing it to. If we look at not for girls drill toys, I found one on Amazon for $33. So it's not like they're marketing it for girls and then putting the price up. I'm looking at you, Bic. Don't do that! By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Make sure you click on all notifications while you're there. It's pretty sharp. Oh, and a little side note, this booklet actually tells you the difficulty level of every project based on three stars. One being the easiest, two stars being medium difficulty. Although I have a hard time believing this is a medium difficulty, only at two stars, but that's, that's pretty good. I like that they're challenging us. And three stars for more ambitious type projects. And last but not least, the centerpiece. And of course, the only thing they didn't give us was the batteries, just because you can't ship things with batteries and airplanes and whatchamacallit, so. Don't worry, we'll get there. Time to hear this baby purr. Here it is on and that's impressive. And I'm guessing this is reverse. So far so good. Just need to put in the bit. Hang on. Wait, what? I should probably read the instructions. I'll get back to you. We'll be right back. So it was actually really easy to use because the inside part matches the little slit. So you just put it that way. And then the rest is magnetic, kind of like a real drill. And now let's see the speed on this baby. That's pretty decent. Now I'm dangerous with a really cute drill. <laughs> er, me, good greens. Holy carp, there are videos and we can scan it with this QR code. So you know what I'm doing? I am QR code scanning this. Oh, wait, where are you? Oh, that was quick. Wait, what? Oh, wait, hang on. We got it. Oh, let's assemble a real driver. A lot of remakes, deco kawaii DIY. For one of the rare times, a QR code is actually working from a craft kit. Every time I've tried this with North American kits, the pages were discontinued. Japan, thank you for not breaking my heart because North American kids, they love to break my heart. They bring expectations all the way here and they deliver nothing. And I cry and I cry. But the Japanese ones so far are pretty good. I think we've stumbled upon gold because here is the commercial for this product. And just by clicking on it right away, I can see that there's a boy version and then a girl version. And one of the things that I don't agree with is that they actually label which one's for which. So let's see what we have here on this commercial. So as we can see right away, the girly version that can make a kind of bunny and then the boy version can make robots. I know this is going by very quickly, but let's backtrack a little bit. You can see that their products seem to collaborate with each other. So the boy, I keep saying this. Let's just assume every time I say boy and girl, I'm using this, okay? That's, that's it. You can do a mixture of robots and cute things together. So that is definitely a really cool thing. This whole ad is only 20 seconds, so it goes by like this. And also, let's hear the music. Kira, kira. Neji happy. Sakurama go. Very, very playful. I like it a lot. And again, they show the possibilities. What I really like is they don't have a difference in the price, one for boys and one for girls. So let's go ahead and start with the most basic shape to see if the actual product works as it should. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. By the way, this is all the stuff we need. I do believe that if it takes cute colors to encourage anyone to not be intimidated by power tools, why not? I think power tools are fun. Luckily, even though my dad is really Arabic traditional, I was allowed to play around with power tools and do jip rocking and painting and plastering and tiling and all that stuff. Maybe because he wanted a free worker. But I did it anyways. So whatever it takes to encourage someone to get out of their bubble and not be afraid of things, that's always a plus for me. But now we need to make sure that these craft kits are not craft kits and that's what I come in, cause we don't take no salt. Nobody. 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 So the first thing I'm doing is pretty much building the little square thing and just to be clear, the pink ones and the gray ones have different indentations so that they can fit together. And now I think this is at the bottom. So do we need a bottom one? No, no. I'm an adult. I can do this. Just have faith in me, dang nabbit. Okay, so this is gonna go here and that's gonna go here. Oh, and now we have a bottom. Of course, I knew that. I said, I know it, don't judge me. You can judge me all you want, judge me all you want. I didn't know. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. All right, now it's time to drill it in. That's what she I'm just joking, I'm just gonna put the little screw in here and we're going to screw it in. Don't look at me. If you wandered to the gutter, that is entirely up to you. <laughs> Dang it, what did I do to you, Grains? Okay, so I think I just have to go for it. <gasps> it even makes that real sound of the drill when it gets stuck. It goes brrr, like a real drill. It goes brrr. I got goosebumps right now. I don't know if you grains can see it, but holy moly, that sounded like a real drill when you hit that point where it can't turn anymore. I love it. Let's try another one just because I like to hear it over here and let's hear it again all the way that's awesome i know you're not supposed to do that by the way i am very well aware of that my dad taught me well i know but i like that detail so i'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the little screws at the bottom and then i'm going to make my way to the top parts just so that we know we got all the angles covered Holy carp, this was way more relaxing and enjoyable than I expected, so I came here to bash you, little drill, because I'm not all about that segregation. I am about it's for everybody. But if you will encourage everyone to enjoy drilling, don't take that out of context, then I'm okay with this. This is really good. I just feel like I just want to kind of want to do something to this. So wait until the end of the video because we're gonna do something to it. So we've seen the drill go forward. Now I'm really curious about removing the actual screw. So let's go ahead and put one in and then put it in reverse and see how well it actually removes it. And we're gonna go up until the brr point. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and put it on reverse, get it snugly in there and... Flawless. Absolutely flawless. My job is done here. All right, see ya grains in the next video. So Salty Crafter, I'm sorry, but you can't just go around hoping to hate everything, okay? I am not the one who made this kit. You have to take your anger out with Japan and Japan's quality and expectations that they have towards people and their kits. Don't look at me, Salty Crafter. I didn't do any of this. The next step in this kit is to go ahead and do decorations with the felt pieces. Oh, it is firmly in there. There we go. There's a little fluff, but definitely not something a little scissor could take care of. I could be more careful too, but I'm not all about being careful. By the way, this isn't the flimsy kind of felt where it would just kind of droop down. It just, it really holds its shape. Look at that. Do I look cute with a little bunny nose? Well, actually, that's a mouth. Do no, it's not gonna work. Oh, well. 
one of the things I'm curious about is whether or not if we go all the way in for the nose, if it's going to do this. Because sometimes when you push paper or anything too much further back, it's just kind of gonna bend. So let's see what happens now. Let's go with the nose. Hold it in place. And... Oh wait, I'm on reverse. Bruh. Or am I? No, I'm good. Wait, what? Oh no, I went crooked! No! No. It's okay, I got you. It's not that I think I'm gonna hold the nose first, and then let's see if we can go straight now. And no! It doesn't bend! Tiny, tiny bend, but nothing too drastic. Stop impressing me! I can't deal with that identity crisis. I can't. I need to be salty. Ah. So I went ahead and inserted the eyes. All right, now we are getting serious. We are removing the regular screw bit and time to put on the star bit, which is going to allow us to put star screws in there. Voila. So now we can take one of these. That is quite snug. Is that okay? I guess. That's okay. Or is that too snug? I don't know. Because as you can see from the instructional manual, we can put this little bow looking thing on the bunny and then add a sticker on top of the star to give it a little more flair. Alright, so here's our bunny head and here's our star. Here we go. Voila! That was easy. Very cute. And of course, let's add our tiny sticker right to like a so. That is darn cute. And so at this point, you can decorate it however way you want with a combination of the felt pieces and the stickers and whatever shape of screws that you want. And make no mistake, this is not a cheap product. It is quite heavy. And as you can see, the thickness of the plastic is no joke. There is no bending. It's really structurally sound. So if anyone wants to make the bigger project, like this really neat washi tape dispenser, I mean, holy carp, that is absolutely wonderful. And if they want the boy version in order to make robots and monsters, that's also an option. It just depends on what that person's interest is. And now for the ultimate message, let's remove the sticker and replace it with my own. Now that's a message I can support. So as much as I would have loved to be uh, pretty salty and throw this kit in the trash, it gave me every reason to absolutely fall in love with the activity and think that it is a great way to get anyone who is intimidated by power tools to have fun with it and to feel like they've built something that they could use. So this kit is definitely 100% worth your cash. For those of you who are interested, I will link it down below on Amazon Japan, since we are all pretty much stuck in our own countries. Amazon Japan has started shipping worldwide, which means you can have some pretty cool items for the price that you would get it if you were in Japan. Plus shipping, give or take seven bucks per item. Let me know what you grains think. How do you feel about genderfied type items? Is, is that is that a word? Gen Gender targeted? Is that the word I'm looking for? I'm not quite sure. I'm really curious to know your opinion. If you want to watch the previous testing craft kits, also known as Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just delicious for you, make sure you check down here. This week's shoutouts go to Blueberry Lullaby, Little Lantern Productions, Nerdy Crafter Fan, I didn't even know that was an account, Melancholy, Eloise Lemieux, Effort Hill, and Jen is a Panda. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.